Hey folks, it's Sawyer with DR Power Equipment here. If you have an engine that's running rough, hard to start, or not idling consistently, you may need to clean the carburetor. Now the carburetor is a key part to the fuel system, and a dirty one can cause the engine to backfire, stall, or not even start at all. This is a common issue that occurs when using gasoline with ethanol in it, which then introduces moisture into the fuel system. Moisture can cause gunk to build up in the carburetor, as you can see here. It does look ugly, but with a few simple tools, we'll have this thing back up and running. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix that problem. Now, in front of us, we have a DR Field & Brush Mower with a Briggs & Stratton engine. Now, your engine may be different, but the process will be similar. Before we start, though, we are going to need a couple of tools. I already have my gloves on so that I don't get my hands dirty. I have eyewear for protection some carbon choke cleaner for the main cleaning, and some ethanol-free gas for the mower. We do recommend that you do this in a well-ventilated area. We don't want you to inhale any sort of fumes from the exhaust or gas. Here at the DR shop, we are using a professional HVAC system, so we're ready to get started. First, we're going to identify and remove the air filter, which is right here on the side of the engine. Now, as you can see here, there's two tabs that are locking it in place. We're going to need to twist those to the unlock position, allowing this to unlock and come off the mower. From here, we're just going to pry up and it's gonna come right off. Put that off to the side. Now you have access to the air filter. From here, this is very simple. We are going to grab the air filter firmly. We are going to pull back and up so it comes right out. Now we'll have direct access to the carburetor from here. I'm gonna put the air filter off to the side. Next, we're gonna grab our carb cleaner here, and we're gonna take that nozzle and put it deep down in to the intake. We're gonna spray for three seconds. The cleaner will start to break down all the gunk inside the carburetor. Now, because this is a chemical reaction, we are gonna to have to let it sit. The longer it sits, the better the cleaning. So we're gonna let this sit for roughly two hours and we're gonna be right back. All right, now that we're back, I'm gonna give this one last spray. And then we're gonna get this started. See, there we go, it starts right up. You're gonna to wanna to let the machine run for 15 to 20 minutes to ensure it is running smooth and consistent and all the junk in the carburetor has been cleaned out. Now, while we're waiting, I'm gonna take some time here to reinstall the air filter and put the cover back on securely. It is the same process we did earlier, but we're doing in reverse. Just make sure that the air filter is nice and snug on the air intake. And then we're gonna put the cover back on and make sure that both those clips are locked back into place. Nice and flush. Now, if you're still having issues and it's not ru uh, running or idling properly, you may want to consider using a fuel additive like this one here. You can pick this up at your local hardware store. Now, this is going to be the best way to clean your engine passively over time by mixing it with ethanol-free gas. It's going to break down the gunk inside the carburetor and make sure that your engine runs properly. Double check to make sure that the additive you're using is for small engines and make sure to read the back carefully as all brands vary. If you have any questions or your engine still having issues on your DR power equipment, give us a call. Our technical support team will be there to help. Thanks for watching.